This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. I don't know if you've seen this video. We've got it on the BJ Mix page of KISW.com. Uh, there's a mom who's trying to guess which thirsty DMs were written by her adult son. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're sitting in the same room together. So it's the son and the mom, and it's super funny because it's like awkward. Like, here's mom reading him trying to be flirty with a girl. Oh, this is, it's, it's very, very awkward. I could commit crimes with those eyes. That sounds so much like you saying something cheesy like that. Is that cheesy? Yeah, to me it is. Okay. All right. Girl, you are thick, thick, thicky. I hope the hell you didn't say that. I'd come through the phone and choke you. You know what thick means? It sounds like you're heavy. So thick means that a girl is curvy. Oh, you would like that then. Your ex-wife was a little thicker. (laughs) <laughs> what? I love this mom. Wow. That was no chill. <laughs> thick, that is, thick, uh, thicky. Yeah. Those weren't that thirsty, though. I was expecting I was expecting more. Yeah, I guess they're not going to like let her see like the boner pics that he might be saying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what I was expecting, honestly. Wow. Okay. We went from zero to 100 on that one. Yeah, well, right? you know that's probably what's going on. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, I mean, at that point, oh. I mean, we know those are thirsty. You know what I mean? That's pretty much. Uh, Vicky just know. found one that I thought was rather interesting that maybe for the best purposes we didn't hear her say it. But oh. in a nutshell, it said, for the love of God, please uh, uh. do a certain thing. Oh, use me uh, as a seat. Oh, yes. yeah. There you go. There That's you go. It? Yes. Oh, yeah. The old, uh, yeah. Okay. I think that was a Monty Python song back in the day. <laughs> yes, yeah. it, yes, it was. Sit yeah. in my hand. Tell, tell me, me that, that you love, love me. me. Why do yeah. I even know that? Yeah, I know. Right. I, I'm, I'm glad even... you do know that. I am very impressed. You know, I used to know someone that, that loved Monty Python, and they would play that song all the time. Yeah. And I was like, this is not really a song. <laughs> oh, it's like, a great song. But to that it person, a- that was like their that was Pearl Jam to them, like yeah. that kind of music. Oh wow! Oh, it was that was a tremendous song, Vicky, Danny. You know that song, or do you? No, I've oh, never you seen. Find it. I've never seen Monty Python. Me neither. Well, I know I've, references to it, but not not the songs. Yeah, I'm not telling you to watch any Monty Python because that could be troublesome. But the song, I think you get a kick out of. Uh, and then who knows? Maybe if you like the song enough, you might want to delve deeper into the brilliance of Monty Python. But Steve will tell you, don't waste your time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Danny, don't waste your time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. But at least the song is, you know, it's in, it's entertaining. And when you feel, you know, when you realize when the song came out, it's like, well, that was all right because it's still funny to me today because we can't even say what their song is today. So mm-hmm. they were ahead of their time. Yeah, but my buddy would listen to that song like as if it was, you know, listening to Soundgarden or just randomly during the day. Just like go over to his, this is in college, go over to his dorm and he's just like hanging out in his room and he's like, sit on my man. And I'm like, what are you doing? Dude, it's like, <laughs> do you expect it's, it's, any it, ladies to pop into this room and say, hey, what are you listening to? I kind of want to do that. <laughs> I, I think of it like, you know, uh, the 69 Club, you know, nice. Yeah. It's that kind of thing where, you know, it, no, it's, just right. so, it's just so stupid. You go, and it puts a, you know, it puts a smile on your face. It's put a smile on my face just remembering that song. And well, some people can't smile if they actually do that because oh, there's yeah. things oh, in I the way of their that. mouth being. That's a, that's a good well, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. 
But the whole like jumping into the DM, it's so funny. I have a friend that like she just recently shared like some random DMs that she was getting on her Twitter page, and because she's oh. a cosplayer, and one of the ones oh, was just no. so great because she's like she just screenshot and said, "How did you jump from cosplaying and dress up to escorting?" And the person was just basically like, "Hey, I love all the costumes that you wear. Uh, you ever thought about being an escort?" <laughs> and, oh wow! It's like, well, that's rather quick. Yeah, that is even, very, that's very, very quick. But some of those cosplayers are sexy, Steve. And sometimes, you know, you just, you what, know, you just really hope you, that they become hookers. Uh, <laughs> well, again, it's in the world of sci-fi and fantasy, we imagine a lot. So why not imagine even more deep into that fantasy? That, that's one of my favorite things in the morning is when Vicky is like, oh, guys. You should see what was right. in my inbox this morning, and it's like, oh god, oh yeah, thirsty people. Vicky shares them with everybody, yeah. so just know that we're just, all reading your <laughs> weird text. If you send me an unsolicited, you know, certain type of picture, everyone's seeing it. Oh yeah, yeah we're photoshopping things on it. It's a, it's a good time. We're making fun of it. Oh wow, we're probably sending you a picture back with me or Steve replying with our feet or something. Yeah, so oh yeah, enjoy. yeah. <laughs> Those aren't Vicky's hairy feet. No, <laughs> well, mine are hairier actually. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Hashtag Hobbit life. But like, it's kind of funny that a guy would like try and jump into someone's DMs and just said, already like kind of sold themselves short. Like, yeah, I have no chance of being able to convince this person to go on a date with me. How about I see if I could just pay to go on a date with this person? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I have to say, I appreciate that he knows his lot in life. He probably is <laughs> like, yeah, the only way I could be with you is if there was a financial agreement. <laughs> The best part that she shares is like the person's username is like something along the lines of like, I miss you, Sally. That's like the. the no, that's not his name. And she wrote, This is why Sally left you. You don't deserve her. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> wow. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Ninety nine point nine K I S W the Rock of Seattle. For the longest time, people have been trying to figure out what exactly is Grimace. You know that that character from McDonald's, uh, purple thing. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was just a giant eggplant. I'm kidding. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> this is a really bizarre thing, but I guess back when Grimace was created, they thought, "Here's a great idea. Let's uh, let's make a character that looks like a taste bud." Really? That is uh, the rumor that is going around after a long time. McDonald's manager Brian Bates said it is true. Here he is talking about it. This is not an official thing, but what I have always heard and been told is that Grimace is a taste bud. That's what Grimace is. He's a taste bud. Wow. I mean, I would have rather them just say we don't know what Grimace is. Yeah, we don't. We don't know. Uh, we have no idea. I oh. just don't. It doesn't like what are taste buds purple? Oh, Vicky's oh. showing us a picture of a taste bud. Is that a- close up? I guess. Wow, and it's, there's a purple picture right there. So, and Grimace is purple. Kinda looks like Grimace, maybe. Wow. Yeah, there it is. Wow, that is nuts. I'm on a website that McDonald's World Fandom Wikipedia, which I know, yes, it does exist. I don't know if anyone was worried about that, but apparently, <laughs> Grimace originally was evil Grimace, and it had two pairs of arms to which it was able to steal mix- milkshakes. Oh, but, but then after a while, people just were like, oh, "I seem like a good guy," and then they uh, reduced the arms to two because if you have four arms, you're evil, and if you have two, you're not. That's I true. Know, you that. I mean, right, yeah, if we know that about all four evil arms; people. they're evil. You take a look at all the evil dictators over the years; they all had four arms. Yeah, yeah. that is so funny. And yeah, I mean, wow, what's so evil about drinking milkshakes? Though, I guess if you steal, steal them, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, and your taste buds, like he's a he's a living taste bud. He wants them. Oh wow, yeah, he's uh, he's he's evolved over the years. Yeah, he has. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> right. I don't know what else he would be. I, mean, I just thought he was just like just a purple thing. I thought he was just like a like an actual like living milkshake or something. And, like and that. then and the name grimace is like you know it's a, an expression you make on your face, right? When you grimace, you sort oh, yeah. of like grimace yeah. in pain. Yeah. I always thought it was like somebody trying to throw in like an adult humor thing into a child's thing because he kind of looks like an adult thing. Oh, geez. really? What does oh, he look like? Wow. Well, well, you, talk- you mean like a like a. a Yes. Uh, like a thing that would be kept in someone's dresser drawer? Yes. No. Oh, Vicky. That's no. what he looks like. He's not Grimace the plug. Yeah. He's <laughs> not, yeah. He's and not. then, like, Grimace, the name, you know. 
That, that is, that's that's a stretch. People, I don't know. People, that's where my, were. my dirty brain went. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's I evil know. grimace, yes. Yes, evil yeah. grimace, definitely. I mean, maybe people were using those. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they were using them, but that, I, nobody knew what the heck they were. At least I never knew what those were until after Grimace's birth. Mm. That would be unbelievable if they made Grimace after that. I mean, that well, would be... Ronald has accused Grimace of having his head up his, you know what? Mm. So oh, it, maybe it, that's what. It, wow. Okay, no. I mean, you never I heard that. Then. I'll gladly accept the taste bud thing over what I originally thought. So, what's your, your favorite McDonald's character? Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know why. I, I like those little fry guys. The fry guys or the little chicken nuggets. They were cool. They were. I still have toys of those somewhere. Oh my god! I mean, I think that. I mean, Hamburglar is like the goat. Yeah. Oh, really? The goat. Don't you think? Uh, Wouldn't Ronald McDonald be the goat? I yeah, he's mean, the greatest of all time, isn't he? Isn't yeah. he the guy? I mean, he's the only one that's stuck around. He's kind of, right. but after a while, you get sick of him. He's like John Cena. Yeah. He oh, needs really? To go, <laughs> he needs to go away for a little while, <laughs> do some movies, and then come back. Okay. And then we'll all love him again. Okay. What about Mayor McCheese? Oh, I love Mayor McCheese. Yeah. He had a giant cheeseburger for a head, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. totally, that yeah. Was, that, that was the whole idea. Hat. Yep. They must yeah. have did a lot of acid, whoever created yes. these characters. <laughs> I don't know which came first, if it, because I'm not sure if the Puffin stuff, the Sid and Marty Croft characters came first, or if the McDonald's characters came first, because they look very similar. Mm-hmm. It's that same sort of H.R. Puffin stuff looking kind of people right, bouncing around your TV in the 70s. And I don't know, you know, who who stole from who or or who borrowed from According who. According to Wikipedia, the basic concept of all these characters in McDonald Land, which is where they all live, the fantasy land, was a plagiarism of the television series H.R. Puffin stuff. Oh, how about that, BJ? Yeah, and I figured as they much. They successfully sued McDonald's, sit in Marty Croft. Wow. Oh, did they really? Yeah, according to this. Oh, wow. Apparently, they, part of the issue was that Grimace has a striking resemblance to one of the characters on H.R. Puff and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it looks just like it. You can definitely tell it looks just like that kind of world. So they that need, makes sense to me. They should just, they got to create McDonald Land. Like, have it be like a, you know, like a, a smaller but an amusement park. And it has the McDonald's characters. Obviously, the only food you could get there is Wendy's, and then it would be a good time. <laughs> you know, I am surprised. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that they haven't done that, Steve, to be honest. I guess they had their little mini play places. But, yeah, you know, would you pay to go? And, like, like if they if they were like Walt Disney, could they have made a theme park based on just McDonald's? I mean, if, if, if you took enough acid, you could. It looks like all the images and stuff they came up with were pretty ridiculous. Pretty trippy looking. Yeah. But I mean, if you had some good roller coasters and some fun rides, I don't care what you call it. It could be called I Hate Steve Land. But if the rides are cool, I'm going to pay to go to it. I am going to open up that uh, I Hate Steve Land. I think it's going to be a hit. I'm going to do it. (laughs) I didn't know that. The I Hate Steve Coaster. (laughs) <laughs> I didn't know that Funko did the the pops of the old characters. Of course too. they did. They look so cool. I kind of want them, actually. Oh, my so gosh. Yeah, they do we, look pretty awesome. So we know that the HR Puffin Stuff people sued McDonald's. I mean, you read the story, but yet they're still running around doing what they're doing, these guys. So I, I wonder what the I settlement was. I haven't really seen any of the characters since, what, the 90s? Yeah. They haven't really used many of them. Oh, yeah, I haven't true. seen many commercials with them in it. Yeah, they, they, you they see apparently them al- dropped them in 2003. What? They're all gone? Yeah, they don't use them anymore for commercials. Uh, oh, for commercials. Because I think I've seen them on like the kids' stuff. I, I don't know why, like, you know, the, the, you know, the Happy Meals, but maybe I'm losing my mm, mind. I haven't seen them on the Happy Meals, and I know this because my little brother, when he sees the Golden Arches, he goes, Nummy? Nummy? He wants his chicken nuggets, so we go there. I say the same thing when my wife and I pass at McDonald's. Nummy? <laughs> Nummy? Nummy? Oh, wow. So all those guys are gone. Mm-hmm. I didn't even realize they were gone. Oh, they got to bring them back into like some kind of dark action film, like The Expendables or something wow. like that. Wow. Oh. Pretty reboot, huh? Yes. Okay. All right. I like this. Yeah. The Happy Expendables. The Happy Expendables. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so interesting that... that that they haven't been. I, I guess we're just having it in our head that they've been around all this time, and they're almost still doing twenty stuff. years. It's been almost twenty years, and we haven't seen him. According to Vicky, they That's probably crazy. have some serious beef with Ronald because <laughs> he almost like he's kind of like the guy that crossed the picket line. He's well, still doing stuff. Have we seen Ronald before? I haven't seen Ronald in a while either, to be honest with you. Oh, Ronald's going to be around, right? I haven't seen him. I feel like he's been here yeah. doing stuff. I mean, I see the King. I mean, the, you know, the Burger King. I see, but I haven't seen Ronald for a while. Oh man! Wow. Now, I mean, you can, now I could be worried. He's got a house. Do you think I just leave him in the house now? The Ronald McDonald house and go stay there. Maybe he's retired. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? He he's earned it. You know, hang up, hang up your floppy shoes. Maybe mm-hmm. they, he's trying to make like the what's the, the the Noid or whatever his name is coming back for Domino's. Oh, like, the avoid the Noid guy. Yeah, he's going to be like that. They they're giving him a break, and then he'll they'll bring him back in ten years. But here's the problem: when he comes back, we're all going to be like, I didn't even know he was gone. <laughs> 
You know what kind of hurt Ronald actually was 2016, the uh, weird clown sightings. Uh, so they kind of yeah. brought him down a little bit. On but- top of, uh, I think, critics and like a lot of doctors were took out a whole ad saying that they shouldn't be using a clown mascot to target kids for fast food commercials Whoa, and stuff like that. The hell they that should. <laughs> They were hoping that Ronald McDonald would retire, and then the whole clown thing, like Brett was saying, happened. You gotta be. This is uh, these. These are things that happened. He's yes. He's not retired. He continues to appear at live events and social media. But I can't but tell you what live, live events. Well, this was a while back, but I can't imagine any commercials now. I don't remember any recent no, I, commercials I with him. I haven't seen him in forever. But I just feel like, what about all the clowns like JP Patches? You mean to tell me they were like they that they found out they're not good for kids? I mean, clowns no, I, always- no, I think they would say that because the clown is cool and, and fun. It's appealing to kids to eat their food, and maybe they're worried about like them eating that food because it's not always the healthiest. Mm. That's oh, the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, wow. yeah. kind of like yeah. how like you know the, the camel cigarette guy. It was like it was endearing. To so kids. now we're equating that. We're, so we're equating fast food to the camel cigarettes in some people's minds, rather than how about you just be a good parent and make sure your kids don't overeat on anything. Well, that's just a, that's. A, I mean, BJ, that's asking a lot out of parents. Yeah, I mean, oh, you know what, Steve? If that's true, and you're probably right. That pisses me off. That's it's my like, guess. Don't take away stuff that I like just because you can't moderate your children. Moderate your friggin' children. That's what my parents did. I loved, I loved Twinkies. I mean, I would have ate them all day long. And you know what happened? Parent came home and said, you're not going to eat those all day long, okay? You eat them, we know, as a treat. And then you have your vegetables now. Shut up. Yeah, we love McDonald's, but we could only get McDonald's if we were acting good. And yeah. that was an often. So I, it was like, okay. <laughs> you, I, mean, I am so surprised you got any at all. Really? <laughs> it was like once a month. Oh, wait, if you're if acting that. good, that was the caveat? Yeah. Oh, if, if wow. my brother and I weren't a giant pain in the ass, we would get yeah, McDonald's. I feel like that. Did, yeah, I feel like you did not go to McDonald's much. No. Yeah. Wow. Well, we learned I a lot. I blame my brother, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, man. So, so what I mean, about Jack in the Box, though? Uh, you know, Jack in the Box is appealing to stoners. I'm not going to mess yeah, with Yeah, Jack is for adults. <laughs> no yeah. doubt about it. Jack is never here for any. I mean, look, if kids love Jack, that means you better check your kid to see if he's a little weedster at a young age. That's all I'm going to say. Jack single handedly saved Jack in the Box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. I wanted to be Jack in the Box. Back in my old rave days, I always wanted to get uh, uh, Jack in the Box head. And I just thought it'd be so funny to be in the middle of like a rave. Oh, just you would put somebody's losing. eye out, though, dude, with his I'm nose. I'm tall. Yeah. You, you yeah. don't have to worry yeah. about it. You're, you're tall enough to hover over What if everyone? he bends down to say hi to somebody and he impales somebody? Jack's got a weapon for a nose. It's not the nose. It's the hat. Is it both the hat are, that's the weapon? Po- I thought both are pretty pointy. Yeah, yeah it's either t- way. It's a tiny nose. It's not like a huge nose. It's, it's a little Let pecker there. You could like jab your Pardon eyes me? out with it. Hey, hold on a second. Ooh, what version would you get? Would you get the smiling one? Oh, the one geez. where he's got like the O mouth, where he's like, oh. Well, oh, the O one is going to be the one the Steve gets. Plain. It would, depending yeah. on what time in the night, it would change. I think it actually would be I prefer to be smiling. Costume change. Yeah, you need like a teeth clenching one. Get a Mr. Potato Head version of Jack. That's what you need. Ooh, yeah, then no, you they, switch them out. I found one on Etsy for eighty bucks, and the mouth is detachable with Velcro, so you can do different expressions. Yeah. Oh, do I have, it. Got you here. Of course, it's on Etsy, Steve. Everything's on Etsy. Yeah. Even Ronald McDonald's probably on Etsy. Ooh, and the hat is detachable too, so you can add a wig if you so choose. Who has a wig? Jack doesn't have hair. Jack, yeah, I'm Jack. Sure, bald. he did for something. Yeah, well, you know what. I don't never. I've never seen Jack with hair. Show me Jack. Now with I want to see Jack with a mullet. Okay, you're gonna yeah. order this, and it's gonna come, and it's gonna be this big. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe about five like, inches yeah. in the circumference. It's gonna yep. be the one you put on your antenna. Do you remember those? I had those, and people would always <laughs> steal them off of my antenna. Oh yeah, oh. I know. I had the one with the Seahawks helmet. I had the yeah. weenie one from Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah. yeah, they had a weenie one. Yeah. That sucked when people stole your wiener. <laughs> sure, right, sucks. many different yeah. ways. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. I owe a lot of back taxes. Can bankruptcy help me? Bankruptcy can discharge back taxes under certain circumstances. Some types of taxes are never dischargeable, like if you have taxes from an employee, if you ran a business and didn't pay employee taxes or sales taxes, those types of taxes cannot be discharged in bankruptcy. However, most people don't have those kind of taxes. Most people have just regular income taxes. If you owe income taxes and you filed your tax returns but just weren't able to pay the taxes, if the taxes are more than three years old and you filed the tax tax returns, those types of taxes can be discharged in bankruptcy uh, in most circumstances, especially through a Chapter 13 case. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.
This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. GEICO asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, GEICO can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners' or renters' coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance, and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today.